long way, haven't we? We've uncovered as much as we could about love and truth and beauty and freedom and liberty in the face of tyranny. We are now probably days, weeks away from the Israeli-American strike on Iran, which, as we know, is going to kick off World War III. We are now facing the greatest challenge our species has ever faced. We are facing the final showdown between the machine men and human beings like yourself and myself. We have come this far. We have been tested along the way, but now the only thing that stands in our way from victory is fear of the machine. The machine is not sentient. The machine is only interested in building more of itself. It is not interested in growth. It is not interested in life or beauty or freedom. It's interested only in control. For these reasons, it is very jealous of the human, of us, and it will do everything it can to try and control us, to have us, to hold us in its hands because it needs that bright spark of divinity, of God power, of love, because it doesn't have that. When the universe was created, the initial separation of the one into the two and then into the three, an opposite is created in order to have something to pit your ideas against, an opposition, because you can only have growth through opposition, through having your ideas challenged. I have had my ideas challenged many a time in the last year doing Love Police. I don't even know where I stand. Some days I'm extremely peaceful, other days I am violent in my opinions. But what I do know, one thing I have learned, beneath all the influences of mainstream media, of my family, of my friends, of the various people who watch these videos, is that only I can tell myself what is true for me. I can't really take in anyone else's advice. I am not a historical figure. I do not have the weight of millions of lives on my back. I can only do what's right for me. And as we stand here on the brink of World War III, it's plain to see that this isn't a war between states. It's a spiritual war between those who seek to control the psychopaths who inadvertently find themselves in big corporations and government, as that is the place for psychopaths in psychopathic institutions. It's a war between the psychopaths and us, the people who just want to live free, who just want free energy, free food. We want a world of abundance. We want a world of nature without the machine, without passports, without security checks, without taxation, without the control. And I, Charlie Veach, pledge myself to fight. I will fight alongside you. I will fight for humanity. I will fight against this onslaught of the dehumanizing, forward-marching, obedient, drone-like, non-sentient horror of the system we live in. I don't feel anything has been worth it since the agricultural revolution. I'm not a man who has revelations, I do not have a direct connection to the divine, but I do have a mind and a heart and a brain and I can think and I can see things as they happen. And what I see is a human species which fell, a human species which was living in harmony with nature, but now we don't. Perhaps in the collective subconscious, the depopulation fear is correlated to World War III. Maybe this is what is necessary for the improvement of man. Maybe this is our great test. Maybe this is our challenge, our opposition. And I will stand up to the challenge. I will oppose my enemies and I will stand by my friends. So if I die in this fight, at least I know that up until my very death, I did not give in. I did not surrender. I was not compromised. 
And if we're going to philosophize as to what immortality is, immortality is realizing that you are so much more than your physical right here, right now body. No one owns you. No messiah or guru deserves all your attention. No religion is worthy of your time. No government, no company, no tax form, no other human being can ever tell you what to do. Stand firm, get ready. Arm yourselves physically, philosophically, spiritually, and above all, mentally. This is Charlie Beach for the Love Police, August 21st, 2010.